Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to create an animated flowchart to use in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Flowcharts are a great use case for Doodly, and there are a lot of different approaches you can take when creating them. Today, we're going to use PowerPoint to create and animate a simple flowchart and then use Doodly to fill in the blanks. So let me show you what I have in mind. As you can see here, the arrows pop in and then the little circles come in. Now I created that in PowerPoint. And then here I have Doodly working its magic, filling in the blanks. And then my video continues. So it's very simple. I'm going to show you how to do it. Before we head over to PowerPoint, I do want to show you that I have two graphics here. I have this blank, it looks blank, it's got zero duration and nothing's showing. And then I have the flow chart. Well, let's take a look at this little blank one real quick. So, so let's see if we can move this down. So right here, this one, you can't see it. I mean, it looks transparent, right? Well, what you're seeing there is the first frame of an animated GIF file or GIF if you prefer. And that's what we're going to do. We're going to make an animated GIF file of this little flowchart over in PowerPoint. And when it plays, you actually will see it goes from blank and then the arrows start appearing. So let's go ahead and look at the PowerPoint real quick. Here is that graphic that I made and you'll see that I have the two. This one's static. The second one is static. And that's what I used to make this second one here. And then this one is the animated one. And you'll see I have animations. And the reason for doing that is because I needed to have control over my second image, this one here. Um, the GIF would just keep repeating over and over, or it would just disappear. And that wouldn't be so great for our video and I wanted to be able to have it stay static once it once it does its animation then I want just a static image don't do anything and let me draw on top of it so that's why I did two let's go back and let's start with a brand new presentation and we're going to start by going over to insert and we're going to use smart art for this one and you can see there's all kinds of different ones that you could use we can do one similar to what we had. Let's use this one. Now you can get fancy and change the, the look of it. Whatever you think looks nice. I just kind of like the default, so that's what I'm going to go for. I am going to change the colors. And let's go with colorful. Now before we get too far involved, I want to address this text here. These are by default, and this is really cool in PowerPoint, you can go in and edit the text. Well, in this case, we don't want the text in PowerPoint. We want Doodly to hand draw the text. So we need to get rid of it. And I find the easiest way is you go over here to convert, and we're going to go ahead and convert it to a shape. And that gets rid of it, and now we can work with this. The next thing I want to do is I want to right click choose group, ungroup. And that's going to allow us to work with these individually and have the animations come on. I'm just going to play with this a little bit. I want to give it a fill. And let's try something like that. Okay, so I like my little customizations to this. Now we want to animate it. So how are we going to do that? Let's think about how we want them to come in. What should come in first? I'm thinking this one should come in, and I think it should come in you know, from the top and drop down, and then maybe have this come in that way. So let's start with first one, and then click on animations. And over here, here are our entrances. So let's look. I like the fly-in one, this one here, but let's see if there's anything else that might strike our fancy. Yeah, I, I like fly in. And you'll notice by default, let's see preview. It comes in from the bottom. Well, we can certainly change that. If you click the little number, 
next to your animated object, your animation pane opens. So I have Freeform 9 is what it's called, okay? And then its properties are down here below. So effect options from bottom, that's what we have. Well, I want it to come from the top. So I'm just gonna change it. We can adjust some of these other things if you'd like. Maybe we have it bounce at the end. Let's see how that looks. Hit preview. And that looks cool. So then our second one is this guy. So we want him to come in from the side or he could dissolve in. Let's have him peek in. Let's see how that looks. And again, from bottom, let's change this one from the left. And let's see how that looks. That's exactly what I had in mind. So we're good there. And then our next thing, we're gonna do the same thing with this one. So we're gonna fly in this one and we're gonna change it from the top. And then our next one is going to be peek in and it's gonna come in from the left. I'm gonna do this one, fly in from top, this one, peek in from the left. Let's take a quick look. And that's great. We also need to get our static image and I probably should have done that first. So I'm going to go ahead and right click over here and I'm going to duplicate the slide. So here we go. And this is our second one and we want it to be completely static, right? So I'm going to go over here and I'm going to delete all of the animations that we just did. Not a big deal. So this one's static and then this one plays. Let's, we're done with our animation. We just need to export it. So I'm going to go up to my file menu and I'm going to choose export. I'm on my static image here, okay? So I'm only gonna export this image. I'm gonna give it a name. I'm gonna call it static flowchart. And over here, file format, I'm gonna choose PNG, and that should be just fine. Click export. I'm gonna do the same thing to my top image here. This is my animated one. I'm gonna go to file, export, and instead of PDF or PNG, this time I'm choosing animated GIF file. And I can choose my quality. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to choose large. And I'm going to make the transparent background. And I only want slide. Well, I can do slide two. That's fine. Because it's static. Gives me a little leeway. Let's go back to Doodly. Go ahead and create a new video. Click props. Click the little blue and white plus sign. And let's go ahead and just bring our files in. And you'll see this is my GIF down here. And this is my static flow chart. Now I did not remove the transparency in this one. It's fine for this example. I don't need it. So I'm not going to worry about it yet. Okay, so let's go ahead and hit continue. I'm going to go ahead also and rename this animated flow chart. And again, it looks blank, right? So let's go ahead and put this in. And it looks invisible. It's kind of frustrating that way. I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. And that goes on top. Now they're gonna be the same size, but we can't tell yet because we can't see that first one. Let's hit preview. Okay. So you notice there's a lot going on that's not right. We were trying to get a preview of this and nothing really happened. All we saw was that blank. That's because of this three second duration. So let's change that to zero. And now take a look at it. And you'll also see that this is coming on and moving the hands trying to do something and draw this one in at the same time. And that is because there's no duration on the other. It's just there. And the first thing that's supposed to happen is this is going to come on. So we need to put a delay here. So let's do like a five second delay for the moment. 
and click preview. So now we can see our animation. There's enough of a delay and then if he erases it, which we gotta deal with, then this one comes on. So let's deal with that erasing. Settings, erase mode, it's on smart mode by default. I'm turning it off. Hit apply. Now let's look. So it comes on and then the other one's going to come on in just a second here and replace that. And of course it's not lined up or anything like that. The way he draws it on, I don't like, I just want it to appear. So we're going to change our duration here to zero. And now let's look at it. I know there's a lot of previewing, but I just want you to understand what's happening. So let's watch. Here comes our animated. And then our other one should appear. Boom. And you notice they are way in different positions. Let's just take our first one and get it somewhere where we want it. Okay, kind of in the middle. Click this little gear icon and make a note of the position. Okay, so X equals 153, Y equals 97. So let's click our invisible one and the gear icon. And let's make our X's and Y's match. Okay, so 153 and 97. Apply. So now they're stacked on top of each other. So now if we hit preview, And then our other one just comes in It's you don't even notice it coming in because it's stacked perfectly on top. There's no hand doing anything. It just appears there. And th that means now we can work with it. We can control, you know, how long this scene is. We're not relying on, oh, we only had three seconds left before it starts repeating. Okay. So that animated GIF does its thing and then, then we're done with it. Now that we have them stacked, Let's go ahead and control click both of them. So we have them together and now we can resize it. This will resize both of them at the same time. So they'll be exactly the same. Then we could reposition it. And something like that looks good. From here, you can work with your flowchart however you'd like. So let's just go ahead and put some text on here. Okay, so I've added my text. Let's take a quick look and then we'll adjust some of the timing. So here comes the basic background and there's too much of a delay before my number one comes on. And that's probably because of my five second delay over here. So let's make this three. And this is just, you're gonna have to find, figure it out. You know, you're gonna have to tweak it a little until you get it just right. I'm gonna try three seconds. And that's actually just right. And I'm happy with this. And there you have it. I hope this gives you some ideas on how you can use PowerPoint to create some animated flowcharts for your Diddly videos. Thanks for watching.